Hey everybody, it's DKF back with another tool tutorial for ProEngineer. Uh, and in this uh, tutorial I'm going to talk about uh, how you can make fillets uh, very, very easily without actually going and use the round tool uh, after you've made it a, an extrude or a shape. Uh, if you've played around with those enough, you'll notice after a certain number of rounds and fillets, uh, ProEngineer can't calculate the curves anymore uh, and it, it peters out. So if you uh, can eliminate uh, the number of rounds you, that you put in uh, by making your extrude shapes a little bit better. Uh, that'll help later on. So what I'm going to do right here is just define a really crude box. And I'm going to zoom in on this point right here at the coordinate system origin. And I'm going to use the circular tool, fillet elliptical, uh, to make a very very nice fillet. So basically what you, all you have to do is select one line and the other and it'll automatically put in an arc between the two. In this case because I used the circular uh, fillet function uh, it'll make a circular arc here and then I hit OK and I can edit the radius here so if I wanted it 75 units I could make it like that or if I wanted it smaller say 30 units I could come back down. So that's the radius of our fillet right there. So we could do a lot of our rounding in Pro Engineer in the uh, sketcher function. Well, let's say that we didn't want a, uh, a circular one. We wanted something a little more interesting. We wanted an elliptical shape. The function, uh, uh, the method you do it is still the exact same. You make your selections and then you can edit your axes of the ellipse. So let's make this kind of extreme so you can see the difference here. So now this ellipse right here, uh, you can do a whole bunch of different things to it. Uh, so I edited out the um, axes lengths uh, to make this pretty interesting for you. Uh, and you can manipulate this just by clicking and moving everything here. Uh, you can make things bigger, you can make things smaller, you can have a whole lot of fun making uh, your shapes in here. And the best part about it is it's going to be tangent at both ends. So you don't have to worry about making things tangent at the very end. Uh, this is probably one of the more uh, interesting uh, functions that you can do here in ProEngineer, uh, just in terms of all the manipulations that you can make on this. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope you enjoy playing around with Pro Engineer uh, with this tool, and I hope uh, you'll come visit us for future tutorials. Thank you.